Inocente, I'm on the wind, says so you gotcha who on beef. Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies. I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG. Yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia, which you should subscribe because remember, at 200,000 subscribers, we're doing $2,000 of a giveaway. You're good, you're good, legit 100%. Aside from that, I've noticed every time I go on vacation, the cheese now always comes. When I'm sitting in the house with a, a bag of potatoes, I get absolutely nothing. And then I travel, and, and I think maybe the influencers are like, oh, he's gone. We're good, guys. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. No, absolutely nothing. If I have to film in a rock with a bear next to a tree, I'll do what I gotta do, baby. And if you guys want to be nice enough and comment on my new Instagram picture, I rarely do post on Instagram. Somebody call me Barney. <laughs> I didn't even see the color coordination. But aside from that, let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Not me just clocking into work and I had a rush to the restroom. Damn. <laughs> zombie. Now, dear God, did you guys see the cheese man that's been going on? Uh, the girls are fighting. No, the Ganja Queen. Uh, she's known as the Ganja Queen, Miss Aness 69, also from the IE representative. <laughs> but aside from that, uh, it looks like she got into some sort of altercation with me. Cassie MUA, and aside from Cassie MUA, rip Laura Mayavo, and I said. <laughs> Now, if you guys missed it, Aness69 went on her TikTok live, yeah, feed me to explain basically everything that was going on in the situation. And I saw a bunch of stocks, you guys. I saw some Chia brains. Please, we need an explanation. We need an explanation. When do I ever post cheese, man, and not give you an explanation, please, baby girl? Let's 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 use common sense for a couple of seconds. The cheese, man, I'm always gonna be the one to give you the full details and extent, baby. But she had this to say. Um, someone's like, where's Bunchel? <laughs> um, is the live laggy? Um, I'm not sure. So, you know, I take that final step so that I have like a good balance. I turn and I'm like, if you have something to say, you can say it to my face. I don't need you to be gagging and making little noises. Like we can speak. Come on. Of course, Cassie's totally ignoring me. She doesn't even look at me in the face. She's literally um, talking to Jesus even more, acting like she can't hear me and like, you know, she's not doing. And I tell her again, I'm like, don't ignore me. If you have something to say, say it to my face. I'm, dude, because don't disrespect me. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm literally just trying to, you know, pass by, uh, bump into them. I didn't look at them. I didn't say shit. I'm minding my own business. And how sloppy. Why would I want to start any type of drama at my friend's party? Like, it's a good time. You know, it's a good time. Um, it was really awkward because there's a, a very obvious separation between Laura's group and the group that I was with. So it was like Marlene, her brother, her homegirl, um, Danny, me, Alan, Soraida, Adam. And then that's when the line started. That's when the other half started. It was uh, Laura, her man, Cassie Eldon, uh, who else? I think that was it. I can't remember exactly, but it was just like a very obvious separation. So that already was like very awkward, you know? But I still wasn't like giving mala cara or anything like that. Cause th this isn't the first event that I've been to where she's at. And I've also done like promos and stuff where she's also there. But you know, I always keep shit civil. I'm classy girl. Like I, I know. And this was from years ago. Our drama was from like years ago. So, and she was just kind of like trying to be the mediator and stuff. But I literally told her, I was like, you know what? Like, honestly, I don't know why you're the one that's out here talking to me. I feel like Cassie should be the one to um, be talking to me because Laura is literally like Cassie's little mom. And she literally babies her for everything. Like Ca Laura has already tried to apologize to me for Cassie like two years ago. Like, girl, are we not adults? Do not use your mouth. I don't know. 
so whatever so laura is saying that and i you know i told her i was like i feel like Cass cassie should be the one here like why is she not here and then that's when vic kind of like butted in and he was like well do you want me to like explain the situation to you or like not like just tell me like yes or no and i was like there's no explaining that needs to be done i literally witnessed it it's literally my business like what are you talking about he's like so you don't want me to explain anything i was like no and then they were like all right let's go they were like they're like all right let's go me let me sit up they were like all right let's go cassie come this up come this up and they walk away laura laura walked away girl what and girl did i not just square up to cassie and she didn't do why is mommy laura coming out here to save the day again Girl, my cast is off. I was ready to go. I was ready to go. No, 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 no. So I honestly like, I'm telling you guys, the moment that happened, I was like, what the? And everyone heard. By the way, I will say, I think it was a super move for Vic to be involved in female drama because not even um, Cassie's man. That's some. Right that's there. some. When there's female drama, there shouldn't be men involved. Right. And who are is you, you wearing to talk to me or like what? that? Maybe. <laughs> enough to gag at me and make it known like you saw me waiting to get off the bus to try to avoid issues with you so i don't know how that's you being woman and like being a little pan and like going to my best friend to like you know act big and bold but that's not working for you sweetheart why is she dming alan though and okay right exactly why are you dming my friend when you can literally dm me or even be like alan can you give me her number Give me her number. You know what I mean? I would I would let Ellen give it to her. No, it, no, I confronted you. I told you to square up. You didn't want to. And your best friend had a lot to say to me for it not being her business whatsoever. Sorry about it. Especially Vic too. Girl. So then um, Alan responded. This is such a long live, but I'm sure you guys are loving it. <laughs> Uh, so Alan said, I totally didn't want anything to get out of hand for respect, out of respect for Marlene. <coughs> Excuse me. But I totally feel like if nothing happened in the heat of the moment, I don't think it's worth it for neither of y'all. Y'all can um, either talk it out or we can move on because there's definitely a lot of untalked about drama that has obviously been dragged on way too long. So then she says, if I, if I had a problem with her, I would have called her out from the second I stepped on that bus, but I did not even acknowledge her because I honestly couldn't give but yet you gave Zubank. I said, what? Now I saw Jenny69 in the back Something about men shouldn't be in cheese man. Okay, first and foremost, let me just give you guys something If you guys didn't know, I'm a proud cheese most one, And I'm one of the proud ones in Loud and Proud But all the guys, a lot of guys They're more bigger cheese most than girls They just don't show it, baby, and embrace it like me But guys are just as cheese most as girls They try to act nonchalant about it Like, yo, what happened though? But in reality, in their mind, it's racing like <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? She did shout me out, Miss Annette watches the cheese man well, basically uh what led to this altercation to my understanding is that previously her and cassie mua have already had like this you know some sort of tension going on in the past some sort of drama some sort of party for marlene dizzle and now if you guys don't know who that is like that's a tiktoker <laughs> if speaking of marlene dizzle the name is panchito guillermo javier canales <laughs> nice to meet you yeah feel me it looks like at this party bus uh, they were all there and they knew like they, they already had this tension and they were in the same party bus and i guess annette got bothered at cassie mua because uh, she thinks that she heard Cassie and Mune say, Young Nino. <laughs> when Annette was walking by, and then Alora Medallo got involved and she tried to, you know, you know, de escalate the situation going up to Annette, and Annette didn't want none of that. I, now I can already imagine Alan I's running back and forth. Girl, please, let's just figure this out. And then he goes over to Annette. Okay, girl, he said this and this. See, I would have loved to be that messenger. I would have instigated this. They would have been fighting in the first minute. Yo, Annette, you heard what Big Doc said over here? <laughs> Cassie and Yune actually gave me her viewpoint and her side of the story. She had this to say. My hey, OMG, lol. This whole situation is absolutely comical. The fact that Anne has a lot to say online, but yet couldn't handle this with me face to face, one on one, Big Valley, is hysterical once again. This blew up over literally absolutely nothing. So here's what happened. We were on the party bus celebrating a friend's birthday, getting our oons, oons, oons. Uh, This was Marlene's, to my knowledge, and they started. Stop to eat at Raising Cane's. 
everybody got off except for my vegan husband who you know obviously can't eat there myself and jesus because we didn't want any food however as annette was getting off the bus i moved my stanky leg yeah feel me i moved my stanky leg a little bit back on the seat so you know obviously they could walk by and she passed us and jesus christ said i cannot eat canes right now i'll literally throw up and made a for those who don't know uh, jesus he stays gagging at everything Anyway, allegedly, Miss Annette chose to ignore the entire sentence, the entire sentence that didn't involve me to begin with and accused me of gagging at her. Mind you, I did not say a single word as she walked by. So once she's off the bus, she then decides to say from the outside, don't act like I didn't hear you, big felly, which I was completely caught off guard because uh, I had no idea that she was, you know, what she was talking about. I continued talking to Jesus and Annette walks away. Someone on the bus went inside Kane to tell Laura about the misunderstanding so Laura naturally being concerned uh, came out and back on the bus to ask you know what it happened was and then we told her what Jesus said and they were confused as to you know why she was dribbing dribbing so Laura tried to defuse the situation uh, gets back off to ask Annette you know what it happened was and Annette snapped at Laura and said shut your flying doublin mouth and was extremely rude to her so Laura gave up and came back to the bus Alan then came back to try to meditate the situation as well but Annette wouldn't come back to resolve the issue and she you know she started herself my husband wouldn't let me off the bus because you know there was a ton of people hanging in the parking lot so i kept saying tell her to come back and let's handle this ourselves Alan went back and forth a few times, but she did not even try to settle it with me. And the next thing I know, they caught an Uber and both left. This was blown way out of proportion. Had I known what she had thought she heard, you know, right off the bat, I would have immediately stood up and acknowledged her right then and there. I was upset that she misconstrued a conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with her. And the fact that she did without even trying to solve her issue. So I went to personally reach out to her on Instagram, but she had me blocked. So therefore, I messaged Alan, who not only left with her was the one who was meditating the situation the whole scenario because i could just imagine him running back and forth please girl please because once again she wouldn't come back on she knows how to contact me she could have easily unblocked me and messaged me last night or even today before her live episode but no she didn't do that instead of handling it like an adult she makes up this entire facade to entertain with her audience and the fact that she claims that I bullied her at events is insanity. The last and only event I saw her was at Batty B Saucy. God damn, Poncho slowed down on the 10th, 2008. I'm not sure how I was able to have any conversation with her being that she was walking out and left the event myself and two friends walked in. I remember this event crystal clear. Needless to say, sorry for the lengthy response, but it is what it is. Black and white. If Annette one is clears things up, she's more than welcome to message me herself. You can literally see here that she doesn't pop up when I type in her name. God Damn, I'm an excellent reader. Please make sure to subscribe for being the best goddamn reader in California Boulevard. Appreciate it. Now, when you read Cassie M. Unay's, uh story and her response versus Annette's uh, story, you can maybe see where the uh, the confusion is. First and foremost, too, uh, I feel like we're grown adults, too. I don't think a grown adult would just be like, you <laughs> yeah, feel me? So, uh, Miss Cassie was saying that was the friend because uh, the friend didn't want to eat canes. And then Annette thought that that was towards her, the tiger. Rrr. So then that's when uh, Annette got triggered and she said, I know what I heard and I heard it. And, and I guess she pressed uh, Cassie MUA, but Cassie MUA actually said that she didn't even know that she was getting pressed. That Annette didn't want to speak about this like grown adults in person. It was kind of like sending Alan Nice back and forth or somebody back and forth. But uh, Annette didn't actually physically want to talk to Cassie MUA. And uh, to my knowledge, Cassie MUA was saying that she actually was trying to figure this out as like an adult. She didn't even want it to go to social media, but I guess Annette has her blocked. So what do you guys think of the situation after hearing both sides of the story? Because you kind of need both sides of the story to kind of get like an understanding of what happened. Do you guys think that Annette 69 was actually shaded at this party bus by Miss Cassie MUA? Or do you guys think that Miss Cassie MUA is telling the truth and she actually didn't give a flag in Dublin and she didn't grunt or whatever, you know, the case is towards Miss Annette. That it was, you know, her friend in the party bus that didn't want, you know, the damn canes to my knowledge. Make sure to comment down below as to what do you guys think of the situation. And for the world news, did you guys see with the whole case? Uh, I actually want to get your guys' opinion because this is kind of like a Socratic seminar i want to see you know both sides of you know everybody's viewpoint uh with the whole kyle uh rittenhouse uh situation allegedly it was a uh, self-defense so i want to hear what you guys have to say about the situation the correct decision or you guys think you know something fishy fishy <laughs> yeah feel me is going on but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to take the time right now pause the video drop a like and subscribe those two things really help the channel boost up and remember to check out my instagram if you guys do want to see daddy long legs because i know my legs are kind of always covered in the tesla and you guys can't really see that i'm actually like really tall yeah feel me so you guys can go ahead and check that out and i really do appreciate you guys
haciendo laundry, coño. Oh, oh. Ya tengo un trabajo para un hombre. Dice que para el salón, coño, para hacerse el cabello. ¿Para quién se está haciendo el cabello ella? Nunca se quiere ver bien para mí, nunca. Eso es que tiene un hombre ya en la calle. Uh, coño. Niño, ven acá. ¿Qué pasó, papi? ¿Y este pantaloncillo? Dime. ¿Qué fue, coñazo? ¿Tú te cagaste, fue? Coño. ¿Un peo fue que te tiraste, coño? ¿Por qué? Porque, diablo, esta vaina está, está llena de mierda. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. no. Eso no va en el Londres. ¿Tú sabes dónde va esto? En la fucking basura. ¿Tú sabes que cuando yo como bacalao yo no me puedo controlar? Hazme un favor. Vete y pete ese culo, por favor, coño. Porque yo, yo, ya, yo, yo, te, yo te vuelo desde aquí. Pero ven acá, papi, coño. No, no, no. no. Para atrás, por favor. Vete para el baño. Ahora mismo. Oh, oh, maldito sucio. Pero ven acá. Oh, oh.